What's going on everybody? Today we are talking about laser heads. In my history with OM Tech, they have a variety of different laser heads in their machines. And so we're gonna walk through all three of them and we're gonna show you where the lens is. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna walk you over to my different machines and I'm gonna show you where or the, at least the, the three different models of laser heads there are in the different machines and kind of where you can expect to see those. So we'll start off with looking at my 60 watt, then we'll come over to the 100 watt, and then the laser head that I don't actually have on a machine, but OM Tech sent me so that way we could have this conversation. All right, so here we are at my 60 watt machine, and this is kind of the OG laser head that you see on most of OM Tech's um, smaller machines. And the way that you get to the lens is actually in this one, it's down here in the nozzle. So really you push down on this blue little connector there, and then you pull up on the wire. A little hard to do with one hand, but there we go. Okay, yeah, much easier with two hands. You push this blue ring down and then you pull the black hose out. Um, usually I have to go and turn this downwards and then loosen up the actual nozzle there. So spin that around, then you're able to get down in here and you'll be able to see the lens. All right, so there you can see it. So there's the lens. So you can see, like we can actually see our reflection in there pretty well. So that means that the curved side is facing upwards, the flat side is facing downwards towards the bed. Um, that's the way it's supposed to be. This one has a pretty easy, um, what do you call it, a retainer ring that you can just unscrew there, and then you'll get down to the, the, or the lens, you can pull that out, and you can clean it. So that one's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Most people have seen this, and I even have a cleaning video that's already on this one right here. All right, now here we are over at the 100 watt. So you'll see this laser head, and let me tip you up just a little bit so you can see what it looks like. So you'll see this laser head on pretty much the 100 watt and above. Um, granted that could change over time, but yeah, 100 watt, the 130 watt, 150 watt, you see this same laser head on all of them. So the way that this one works, um, you see this little brass thumb screw, you actually loosen this guy up and you slide the whole thing out. So we'll start the same way. You'll see that mine is missing the red dot pointer. Um, I took mine off, I broke it, stopped working a long time ago. I don't need it, I, I kind of work around it. But so again, push down the blue little ring, pull that hose out, and then I also bend that down and then loosen up the nozzle. So you can take this nozzle off because it's gonna be in the way to get to, the, to the, the lens, but you'll see the lens is not in there and it's not supposed to be. So you come here, you loosen this guy up and you flip it and look, there is your lens. Um, so uh, get back in focus there. But yeah, so there's the lens, that's where it's at. And then you can see that there is a silver ring in here. You have to take this ring out to get to the lens. The way that you do that is you actually, you can take either a specialized tool that has two prongs on there. You can use a set of snap ring pliers because it'll have like, you'll be able to spread it out so you can get into those two grooves. Um, you can even use a screwdriver and just on one side and kind of spin it around the edge. So that way it loosens that up. What I do is I actually use a pair of tweezers. Um, they're kind of pointed tweezers. So let me grab those and I'll show you how you take that out. Okay, so here are the tweezers that I use. Um, you can kind of see they're they're pretty pointed. Um, so do be careful because you don't want to just gouge this straight into your lens. That is not the purpose. Um, but you can see there are, oh, if it'll focus here, there we go. So you'll see right there, there is the groove and there's one on the other side too. So I go and I take these and I stick them right there into those two grooves and I turn. And you just keep going and that will turn all the way out and then you can just go ahead and dump your lens out, clean it, put it back in. And you'll see this same ring is actually in the 
It's the 80 watt autofocus, which is this red laser head that we're gonna look at next. But that's how you do this one. Um, again, we'll tighten this back up. Okay, there we go. That's nice and tight. Here you will see that you cannot see our reflection as clear because this is the flat side because flat side goes down based on the laser, be laser bed. Um, in the top, you actually can see the reflection a little bit better, but that's because curved sides up, flat sides down. That's how it goes into the laser head, just like this. So then tighten that back up, put our nozzle back on, and let's head over to the next one. All right, so here is the oddball. Um, and it's actually kind of cool to have this off the, the laser and actually hold it in my hands and kind of should be able to show you guys this. So on this laser head, where it has this blue spacer, your lens is actually sitting up in here. So similar to the 100 watt, so similar to that guy, it's actually in the tube and not in the nozzle. So let's take this apart. And we'll, we'll talk about some of the, the cool things actually about this laser head. So we take the nozzle off, you'll see, hey, there's a ring just like there was on the 60 watt machine. So ideally you could put a lens right here and an 18 millimeter lens would fit in there. Same as the 60 watt laser. And I mean, the, the other ones that have that 60 watt head, they take an 18 millimeter lens. Granted, you would need to have probably a two inch or a one and a half inch lens if you are gonna put it here. Because if you put anything longer, the, the beam will actually probably hit as it goes and it widens out, it will probably hit right here. Um, so it will not be effective, it would not be great for putting it in the nozzle. Um, there's another spot that you could actually put a lens, which is actually in here. That would be a 20 millimeter lens that's inside this blue spacer. But where you will actually find the lens is inside this tube. So look, there you see the same ring again. So the lens would sit just on top of here. It's a 20 millimeter lens. So go ahead and let's loosen this up. So same thing. So laser head sitting in there, you would slide this out, flip it up, and then you could undo the ring just like I showed you on the 100 watt. So my example, we're gonna use these guys here and we go ahead, put it in that little spot there. And if I need a little bit more leverage, I put it in both and turn. So now I got it loosened up. It's easy to just go ahead and slide it around the edge. There you go. So ring out, that's where the lens would sit right on in between there and that little white washer. So there are the three laser heads. And with this one, cool places that you could put different lenses. You go in the nozzle, it's gotta be 18 millimeter. You go in one of these other spots, gotta be 20. You're gonna get a 20 on here. And I believe it's either a two inch or two and a half inch lens that you get with this laser head. So that way it can reach from here all the way out through the nozzle that's sitting out here because you have to remember like a focal length, it's actually saying from the bottom of that lens out two inches or out two and a half inches, or if it's a one and a half, you would be out an inch and a half. So like it's a physical measurement from where the lens sits out to where your material is gonna be. That is your focal length. All right, I uh, hope that this video was pretty straightforward for you um, and you can find the laser head that you have in your machine and this helps you just understand where the lenses are at, how you get to them for cleaning, and some of the cool features across the different lenses. So, I mean, you got the 60 watt machine right there, um, and then you got the 100 watt laser head right there, and there is our oddball, that red one. So, the all three different ones, and kind of where the lenses are, and where you, what you need to get to to actually clean them. So, if you like this video, it was helpful, please give it a like please subscribe and we will see you on the next one.